So this patient, you can see in this first picture, has a melanoma on her nasal bridge. You see that center circle, which is where we can see the skin cancer, and then you've got a margin around that. Um, now traditionally for melanoma in situ, if you're doing a wide local excision, you need to remove five millimeters to a centimeter uh, to get a cure. With Mohs surgery, instead of just looking at and sampling the margins, we're actually going to look at 100% of the edge. So because we are looking at 100% of the edge, we're able to start with this margin here that you've seen, and we call that stage one. You can see that we've uh, taken that, that first stage, we took out the tumor, and then we also took all the way around that margin and underneath. With melanoma, and melanoma in situ in particular, the melanoma cells can go down hair follicles. So even though it's stage zero, it's only that top layer called the epidermis, uh, there still uh, can be extension uh, deeper than what the top layer it seems like it would go because that hair follicle is continuous with the top layer of skin. So you need to make sure you get that all out to give yourself a good chance at a cure. Uh, and you can see we're taking more as it goes towards her left eye that's up and right on the screen because that's where I saw the melanoma cells under the microscope. When you do Mohs surgery for melanoma, we're able to do something uh, called an IHC or immunohistochemistry stain. And for melanoma, we do something called MART1 staining. It helps us see the melanocytes. And melanoma uh, has, in situ, has a specific pattern under the microscope so we can see exactly where those cancer cells are. You can see that it's still going further. At this point, she's starting to worry, how are you gonna help put me back together? What are you gonna do? And so uh, we've talked about various plans, started to draw those out. You can see she went even positive a couple more times, almost all the way to the inside of that left eye. And that extension, if you look at that first picture again, you'll see that you can't see any brown there. That's why uh, Mohs surgery is so great because you're able to, even though you can have what's called amelanotic extensions, meaning tumor invisible to the naked eye, you can always see it with the microscope. And so uh, we were able after five stages, which is more than average, on average, we get it out the first stage about 60-70% of the time. Um, but that means also about a third of the time you're going to have to go a second stage. And those numbers keep repeating themselves. So to go five stages on melanoma is not, all, is not very common. Um, but for her, it's really an important thing. You can see that we've, we've fixed the whole, put her back together. We talked various options. And when you are repairing skin, you can let things heal on their own. You can do linear closures, meaning bring things together. You can do flaps or you can do grafts. And after talking about all the various options with her, she wanted to keep, uh, you know, obviously we want to enhance our cosmetics, uh, enhance the healing, but also wanted to keep it all just in this area. In other words, not do like a two-staged uh, interpolation flap. So what we did is we advanced uh, from the right side of her face over. We took a Burroughs triangle from below and above. And then there's also a tail of this going towards the medial canthus. When we're in this area, kind of on the inside here, we want to make sure we don't get any webbing because that can affect your vision. And so um, the first thing that we did actually is we, we took what's called a Burroughs triangle. We took a triangle skin headed right towards that medial canthus so that when she's done, she shouldn't get any webbing. So you can see from the uh, side there, that Burroughs triangle goes right towards the medial canthus, right where kind of your tear duct is on the inside of your eye. And then we use one of those Burroughs triangles as a little graft in the middle um, to help her heal. You can see her, one of her long-term follow-ups from the side. She's not got any webbing from that side. Got a little bit of vascular blush from just some of the blood vessels that build in to go, go heal there. Her graft looks great. And uh, overall, we're really happy with how she looks.